Okay, uh, good afternoon class. Uh, this is another one of our flipped classrooms. We're going to be talking about the uh, physical geography of Europe today. Make sure that we take good Cornell notes and at the end of the uh, PowerPoint presentation there will be a short quiz. Okay, we have now have a satellite view of Europe and Europe is a peninsula of peninsula. It is a, you notice it is a big giant peninsula. If you remember, a peninsula is uh, land surrounded on three sides by water. And what is meant by a peninsula of peninsulas is that, uh, if you notice, that you have in the north is the Scandinavian Peninsula. That is where uh, Norway, Sweden, and Finland are located at. And then right, uh, right to the uh, southwest is the small Jutland Peninsula where the country of Denmark sits. If you go straight down south uh, to where you have uh, what looks like a boot, that's the Italian boot, that's the Italian Peninsula. And directly uh, to the west of the Italian Peninsula you'll see the Iberian Peninsula where the country of Spain and Portugal are located at. And then if you go directly to the east uh, from uh, the heel of the boot, uh, you'll go into the Balkan Peninsula. And um, those are the uh, major uh, peninsulas uh, on, the, uh, on the European uh, landmass. Now there is a, a couple minor peninsulas. If you go uh, from the Balkan Peninsula uh, slightly to the northwest, you'll have uh, the uh, Crimean uh, Peninsula and then you across from that you'll have the uh, Anatolian uh, Peninsula so as we know is that uh, Europe is now a peninsula of peninsulas Europe is divided into three major regions. Northern Europe, where Scandinavia is located. Western Europe, uh, where you have the Iberian Peninsula and the Italian Peninsula. And Eastern Europe. Okay, a couple of the rivers in uh, Europe. Uh, I'm going to talk about two uh, during this presentation. One is the Rhine River and the other one is the Danube River. Uh, the Rhine River uh, is the longest river in Germany and it's an important waterway for trade. Um, and you notice that through the PowerPoint it says because of Switzerland it goes through Germany and then France has been the Netherlands. Um, the Rhine River is also uh, from a history point of view um, was actually uh, the uh, farthest uh, uh, extent of the, the Roman Empire uh, was able to expand uh, to the borders of the Rhine and historically the Rhine River has always been uh, considered uh, the border of Germany. Um, so if you look at some of uh, the uh, the next slide you'll see um, pictures of the uh, Rhine River and some of the major uh, cities on, on along the Rhine and this is where you see where most of the major cities in Europe are along the major uh, riverways because rivers are the source of not only for water for uh, uh, food uh, and, and agriculture but also for trade as well. Right, the second river is the Danube River. It's the second largest river in Europe. Uh, the Volga is the first, and then it actually goes through Russia. Uh, it flows through 12 countries of uh, Germany through the Ukraine, 700 miles long. And it's played a very vital role in the development of, of Central Europe uh, from trade and cultural diffusion. Again, if you look at the uh, pictures on the next slide, you'll notice that all the major rivers all uh, the major cities are along the Danube River. Uh, not only does it promote trade, but also the cultural fusion. And this is the movement of ideas uh, and uh, 
uh, economics as well. Okay, we've uh, ended our presentation, and please take this small quiz there at the end of the lesson right here. Answer those four questions. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, small presentation about uh, Europe and uh, the physical geography.